I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, April 4th, 2021. Resurrection Sunday or Easter. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Prophets Faithful to God's Covenant as the title of the Spring Lesson Series and is categorized into three units or groups of lessons. In Unit 1, we talked about Faithful Prophets, and in Unit 2, we're talking about Prophets of Restoration, and in Unit 3, we'll talk about Courageous Prophets of Change. Unit 2 of the Spring Quarterly Sunday School Lesson discusses Prophets of Restoration, now, the Prophets of Restoration addresses the compassion of God for his chosen people, even though they forsake his ways, and also illustrates how the Prophets provided new hope to the Israelites for salvation and reconciliation to God. The title of our second lesson in the Unit 2 Spring Lesson Series is titled Finding Hope in the Midst of Oppression, and that's from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. And that key verse reads as follows. He was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our inequities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. Now, the title of today's lesson is Finding Hope in the Midst of Oppression. Now, the background to the lesson centers around the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah's poem concerns the sin-bearing servant of God who accepts the wrath of God, will, and endures a lowly death on the cross as atonement for the sins of the world. How his resurrection from the agony, humiliation, and death on the cross is the basis for our hope and faith and salvation. There are three summary lesson points for today. The suffering servant's agony from Isaiah 53, 4 through 6. The suffering servant's humiliation from Isaiah chapter 53, verses 7 through 9. And the suffering servant's triumph. Isaiah 53, verses 10 and 11. The passage for the lesson today revolve around the key words prophet, agony, humiliation, iniquity, and triumph. Now, prophet, uh, as we have discussed, is an individual, and generally in the Bible, it's a man uh, who speaks by divine inspiration or as the interpreter through whom the will of God is expressed, such as the prophet Isaiah in today's lesson. Agony represents an extremely physical or mental suffering, both as in Jesus' case. And humiliation 
Humiliation means to make someone feel ashamed, embarrassed, or foolish by challenging their dignity and self-respect as a person, especially when it's done in a public manner. And Jesus' crucifixion was the ultimate humiliation for a death sentence during uh, the Roman times. Now, iniquity means immoral or grossly unfair behavior, sinfulness, or criminality, which were the sins of the world, which Jesus atoned for. And triumph is a great victory or achievement. And as Christians, we celebrate the resurrection as a triumph of victory over death. The suffering servant's agony from Isaiah 53, 4 through 6. And in these passages, this prophet Isaiah discusses the agony and pain of the suffering servant or the sin-bearing servant. And according to Isaiah, the suffering servant accepted the wrath of God in order to atone for the sins of humanity. All of us have wandered like sheep and had betrayed on our own path but the Lord caused the sin of all to, to attack Jesus. The people, if they even thought about Jesus' agony, agony, thought he was being punished by God and afflicted for something that he had done. They did not realize that Jesus was suffering for the sins of the world, including theirs. And also, uh, the pain and the suffering and atonement brought spiritual healing for a lost world. So Jesus' suffering was the atonement for the sins of the whole world. And we today bear some responsibility for those sins because he suffered for the sins of the whole world. And on a daily basis, we struggle with those same sins. Now, in the suffering service humiliation, uh, in these passages, Isaiah's uh, prophecy concerning the humiliation of the suffering and death that the servant of the Lord would endure for the attainment of the sins of all. And according to Isaiah, the suffering servant willingly accepts his fate. Even though he was treated harshly and afflicted, he did not even open his mouth, and Isaiah likened him to a lamb led to the slaughtering box, and like a sheep that's silent before his shearers. He is subjected to an unjust trial and suffers cruel, especially painful death. And the witnesses to his death were indifferent to what was happening or even cared to find out. The ultimate humiliation was to be buried Jesus with common criminals, but Jesus ended up in a rich man's tomb because he had committed no violent deeds, nor had he spoken deceitfully. So the intent was for Jesus to be laid low, but the Lord made him high by placing him in a rich man's tomb. Now the suffering servant's triumph from Isaiah 53, 10 through 11, and these passages, uh, Isaiah proclaims that the Lord's purpose, which is to bring the children of Israel to salvation, will be accomplished through the suffering servant. And as evidence, Jesus is the light of life, as evidenced by the resurrection from death, that Jesus justified the wrath of God against the children of Israel, and by extension to us today, who all who seek his forgiveness. And Jesus triumphed over sin and death is our hope for salvation for all the challenges that we experience on a daily basis. A piece of the sins that he died for are the same ones that we struggle with on a daily basis. There is always hope. The people at Jesus' crucifixion, especially those from the Sanhedrin Council, thought that the crucifixion was the end of Jesus. But with his resurrection, God turned the life of someone that was misunderstood, considered as worthless and insignificant,
to the good and the glory of God. And we still are talking about Jesus and his salvation some 2,000 years later. God was pleased when Jesus fulfilled his mission on the cross. Therefore, we're not alone because as Christians, we can take up our cross with hope for tomorrow because he lives, because he was resurrected and lives with God. Those are the summary lesson points for Sunday, April 4th, 2021, Easter Sunday. The Suffin Servant's Agony from Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 through 6. The Suffering Servant's Humiliation, Isaiah 53, 7 through 9. And the Suffering Servant's Triumph, Isaiah 53, verses 10 and 11. So even with Jesus' agony, humiliation, he triumphed over death and atoned for our sins. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, April 4th, 2021. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next week for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.